Good morning! Today is the very first day of the return of Happily Ever After, the fireworks show at Magic Kingdom. It is also, a nut we're doing lots of fun stuff today. We have one of our bucket list days. Yeah! We're staying at the Grand Floridian, buddy. This was something that in older videos we had talked about just like over and over again about how one day we'll stay at the Grand Floridian, one day we're going to stay there, it's going to be so awesome, we can't wait. And finally, today is that day. We're doing it. I can't believe we still, we've never stayed there. I know. So today's a momentous occasion all around. It really is. <laughs> Just a little <laughs> side note, it is also the return of Epcot Forever, the fireworks show at Epcot. So we're not going to see that tonight. We're going to see Happily Ever After. You're going to be in the room with Jackson, but we got a room with a fireworks view. I'm so excited. I'm sad, of course, to be missing the fireworks in the park because I think that's such just like a, the feeling of seeing the fireworks in the park is such a different feeling. Yeah. But I am super excited to be able to see them from our balcony. So you're going to get kind of like a dual look at the fireworks, which I think will be really fun. Yeah, so. it'll be awesome. So let's head out. Should we do it, buddy? Let's do it. We're going to the Grand Floridian. Oh, but also stay tuned because we will be seeing the Epcot Forever fireworks, just not in this video, but stay tuned for that video as well. Yeah. Let's head on out. Let's do it. We're headed into Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. The beautiful lobby of the Grand Floridian. And a beautiful family right here too, look at that. What'd you find, a flower? Is that a flower in the carpet? Wow. Did you see Donald Duck and Mickey in the tile? Mm -hmm. What? Over here in the tile. Oh there's yeah. Donald. He's there's upside Donald, down. he's upside down for us right now. And then there's Mickey behind him. Mickey over there. And then I think this one's probably Minnie over here. I feel like Goofy is the most pronounced because he has eyeballs. Oh, weird. Do you know that there's hidden Mickeys in the wallpaper? I did. Let's see. Or is it the hit? Oh, yeah, look, there's a Mickey right there. I don't know if that's really hidden, is it? It's kind of hidden. And then there's the GF for Grand Floridian custom wallpaper. So we're just passing by Grand Floridian Cafe. And something that we noticed is that over here at 1900 Park Fair, they have overflow seating for Grand Floridian Cafe. So they can fit larger parties or just more people back here because they're not serving for 1900 Park Fair, which was character dining. So they're using it for Grand Floridian Cafe. This is a chocolate sculpture hand decorated by the Grand Floridian Bakery. Wow. I think this is a leftover Easter egg. It looks like an Easter egg, doesn't it? All right, here we are. We're headed into Conky. This is the building we're going to be in. It's like right next to Narcoosie's and right next to the boat launch. And I can see Cinderella Castle from here. Buddy, I know that you love flowers. One thing about the Grand Floridian is there are roses. They're like Look everywhere. Look at that, yeah. So beautiful. I have to say, they right say here. that rain is good luck on your wedding day. Is it good luck on your Disney bucket list vacation day? I don't know. I think it might be. We got a little bit wet coming over here. We're in like the vestibule of the building that we're in. I like that these little tables kind of look like grand pianos, don't they? Oh, yeah. Like little teeny tiny grand pianos. Look at this. Oh, did not expect there to be like a atrium type vaulted area here. Wow. And there's like a sitting area down on the first floor. All right, we are walking down to our room. I wonder what these doors in between the rooms are. Maybe, yeah. Oh. What kind of suite? Oh, that's us. It is? Yeah. All right, let's have a look inside the room. So right when you come inside, there's a little vestibule here. It's got like an end table for you to put your magic bands, your wallet or anything like that. A mirror to check your appearance before you head out to the park for the day. There's a couple of locked closets up here that I don't know what they're for. I'm assuming housekeeping or something. One thing that I thought was very intriguing is that they have these little LED lights on the outside of these two 
closets. And I don't know what that's for. Because there's one there, there's one here, and there's another one right there. I don't know. Not sure what that's all about. Uh, so from here, you got two directions to go. We got this way, then we got this way. So this is the bedroom over here. A little hallway right here with a closet in it. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's a safe, some Grand Floridian slippers, Grand Floridian robe, the hair dryer in here, an iron and an ironing board. I'm kind of excited about these Grand Floridian slippers. I'm gonna be wearing these around. Let's see, is there anything over on this side? And a, a luggage rack, lots of hanging space, extra pillow and blanket in there. And I believe that the light is automatic. Like when I close the door, I think that it automatically turns off the light. Can't tell hundred percent. Maybe there's a switch somewhere that I didn't switch or that I need to switch. I like this light. And then, so we're going to go back to where we were looking into the bedroom. If we turn to our left, this is the bathroom, double sink. Although the sinks are really close to each other, this mirror is gigantic. It looks like it takes up the entire wall. Some really fun chandelier artwork, chandelier artwork. We've got all of our toiletries here, mouthwash and aloe cooling gel. I think these are uh, toothbrushes, just in case you forgot some. Vanity kit, shower cap, shaving kit, what else is in here? Another vanity kit in there. So I think that has things like Q-tips and stuff like that in it. I like that they have a little stamp that goes on the tissues with the GF for Grand Floridian. There's also a rug in here. I don't think I've ever seen a rug in any other place that we've stayed. Like not even the bungalows or the cabins at Wilderness Lodge. Never seen a rug down in any bathroom. There's a, a makeup mirror over here. And then we turn in this direction. There's a commode. And then the toilet paper also has the GF stamped on it. There's a bathtub in here. Ooh, I like the shower head. It looks like it'll be very nice. And it's very high up too. A little bit wider bathtub, but this is not a jacuzzi tub or anything like that. There is a, there is a clothesline in here for you to hang your wet bathing suits on. Just trying to see what the design is on this shower curtain. It's kind of like, I guess, fancy. And then when we turn in this direction, so like I said, we came in that way. That's where the vestibule is. This is the closet that we looked at. And this over here is the bedroom. Sorry, it's kind of blue right now because I have the window open providing the ambient lighting. But there it is. This is a single king size bed. Lots, lots of room around it. We got some lights on the end tables here, plugs and USBs. And there's a switch right here. What's this switch do? I don't, I don't know what that switch does. Not hundred percent sure. It didn't do anything when I, when I flipped it but there's a switch on either side of the bed. That's not this, because this has its own switch. So what does this switch do? I don't know, I left it on to see if anything happens. I'm not noticing anything. Maybe something did happen, not 100% sure. If we turn in this direction, there is like an under TV cabinet here with the GF. For Grand Floridian. A little TV over top of it. There are some plugs here on top with a USB so you can use to charge anything or to power any sort of, you know, like a fan or something that you might put up here. Some storage space underneath the TV. A lot of space. I thought it was going to be quiet close. Is it not? This one is. Okay. 
a little bit more storage over here. There's another table right here with some more USB plugs and some regular plugs. Another lamp here. A little teeny tiny mirror. There you guys are. There's also a little drawer here for you to store paper and stuff. Maybe you're writing, I don't know, postcards. You could use this table. Another sitting area over here. It's like a nice little chair off to the side. The artwork. We got some bridges, some bridge artwork. Oh, there's like a, a person on that dock back there. I wonder where this is. And if, is this a photograph? I think it's a photograph. And then we have some lily pads over there. I do like the lighting fixtures in here. Like crystal chandelier type lighting fixtures. And then I wanted to show you all the balcony while we're here. So. It is still sort of wet outside, so we might fog up a little bit. But this is Seven Seas Lagoon right there. There is the boat dock that we would take to go over to Magic Kingdom. Got a monorail going by. This is the walkway that we can take across to walk over to Magic Kingdom. And of course, Cinderella Castle right there. So we should have a fantastic view of the return of Happily Ever After. We can see Space Mountain and we can look over at the Contemporary as well. All right, let's head back in. Hey! All right, well, let's see what the curtains look like. Those are nice. A nice design on the curtains. All right, so now we're going to turn and head in this direction. There is a room that can be used as an adjoining room over here. Uh, it, we're not, we don't have that room. Ooh, I don't think that this is a motion sensor thermostat. That's nice. That'll make it convenient. So we're headed back out to the vestibule here. This is where we came into the room and we are turning in this direction now. So the bedroom was over there down this hallway. Now we're headed down this hallway here to there's another bathroom. There's another closet over here too. Some more robes, more slippers, another safe. Extra pillow and blanket, another iron and ironing board, another luggage rack, and then there's another bathroom in here. Same exact setup, toilet, commode there, bathtub, a rug, double sink, a little bit smaller mirror, uh, makeup, makeup mirror, there's all the same kits and toothbrushes and stuff over here. I think that this is a laundry hamper because there's a trash can right there. So these rooms have a laundry hamper. And some more artwork where we've got some flowers over here. So yeah, this bathroom is identical for the most part to the other bathroom that we already showed you. The door to the other bathroom though, is there not a door on it? Let's go check. Oh, okay, so there's not a door leading into the sink area of this bathroom, but there is one on this bathroom over here. Kind of insignificant, but it does make it so that if somebody is here using this sink, this door is like right behind them. There's also a full length mirror here and a full length mirror there. There was a full length mirror there in the first bathroom that we showed you, but there wasn't a door, so there wasn't one here. So you kind of got a lot of mirrors here. You can stand and look at yourself from all angles in this bathroom. So if we close that door, we got a mirror here, mirror here, mirror over there, lots and lots of angles. Same lighting fixture that was in the other hallway. And then we turn to our left and this is the sitting room. So I know it's all blue in here. So let me go over to the window here and turn around and have a look back. So you can kind of get an overview of it, what it looks like in here. 
There's a nice table here that you could have, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at. I like the design on the back of these chairs. There's, it looks like a little bit larger TV in this room. Some artwork of the Grand Floridian itself. Lots of lamps and floor lamps and lighting all around. Another crystal chandelier. And there's a mirror over here too. Lots of mirrors in this room. Some lights on the end tables. I think that this is a bed. Let's see. Yeah, there's a bed under there. And then there's a couple of chairs here to sit and have like, you know, sit and hang out at. Under cabinet, or under TV cabinet with lots of storage in it. Oh, and a refrigerator. So that's good. It's like a beverage cooler, I think they call it. Yeah, beverage cooler cools to 41 degrees and above. Also, there's a DVD player in this room and an in-room dining menu. So we can just get some in-room dining delivered to the room. I feel like this TV is a little bit bigger than the other one. Look at this gigantic painting. This is so cool. And then there is a bar area over here. There's like a large, I don't know what you'd use this for. There's nothing inside of it. Just more storage in there. And a lamp up on top of it. And then this bar, there is another refrigerator over here. This one's not specifically labeled as a beverage cooler, but it looks exactly the same. It's just white. There's a Nespresso machine right here where you can get coffees and have some delicious, delicious espresso in the morning. There is a tea kettle and some teas. A little, little bar sink over here. Another mirror and a balcony here. So there's a balcony on this side. There's a balcony over there and then there's a balcony in the other room in the bedroom. I think this one over here is my favorite though because it's such a little small door, but then when you go out, a fairly large balcony and it's quiet over here. Pretty secluded. So nice. So you won't hear any of the ferry boats. Well, you might hear them still, but they won't be coming in straight at you. Have a little bit of privacy back here. Whereas the other two balconies, of course they have the theme park view, but they also have the view of the dock. So anybody coming back from the theme parks on the dock would be looking at your balcony. So that's what I was saying, this one back here, a little bit more private. So there you have it. That was our tour of the Wakaiva suite at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. I'm very excited, it's very nice. So like we said at the beginning of the video, this is a bucket list stay for us. So the room was a little bit more on the expensive side. It was about $1,200 a night. Uh, also it was the last room available with a theme park view when we decided to book a theme park view for the fireworks. So originally it was just gonna be me going into the park, but we also wanted Jen to be able to see the fireworks. So we're like, well, let's see if we can find a room with a view of the theme park. And it turned out that this one was the last one available in the area, like it, of the three resorts that view Magic Kingdom, this one was the last one with a theme park view available. Also speaking of the price, it's fairly comparable to a one bedroom villa over at Bay Lake Tower with a theme park view, a little bit closer over at Bay Lake and a little bit less room. Like this room is bigger than a one bedroom villa over at Bay Lake Tower. I don't know, I feel like I like this better. We'll see how it goes throughout the stay but I like the location of this. I like the feel of it. I like the layout of it. A little bit better than I like the room over at Bay Lake Tower. I don't know, I'm excited for this day. So while I was touring the room, you ran down and got Jackson some lunch. I went to Gasparilla's and um, I got him a grilled cheese with some tomato bisque. Oh, this he's is... almost done with it. Oh, well, kind of. I've been eating his crust. Oh. <laughs> I've been dipping it into the bisque. It's really good, but I think it's a little bit too hot for him. Oh, okay. I love this room. Yeah. Jackson, do you love this room? It was it was so like serendipitous too. Like I was telling them earlier, like it was the last room available. The view is amazing. 
Yeah. I'm so, can I have it? Oh, thank you. You want to have a little, a little tomato bisque? No? Try it. Uh. You don't think? Okay, you don't have to. Um, I'm just so happy that I'm going to be able to see the fireworks too. I wish Jackson could see them. Right, but he'll be asleep. Oh, he'll, yeah, he'll be very asleep at that point. So now Jackson's asleep for his nap and it's my turn to head down to Gasparilla to get our lunch. It's a little bit later. It's about 2.20 right now. I like that there's a big clock here. Also, this is the marina. There used to be sprite boats or these like little uh, mouse boats, they would call them, that you could rent from here. They're not currently doing that at any resorts. I miss them. And also there's usually a like very large boat out here that's called Grand One. It must be back in dry dock right now. You could rent it out like a pretty much a yacht. Very expensive, but they would take you out to watch the fireworks at night. I wonder when that'll be returning. We've done it before, not on Grand One. We've taken a pontoon boat out to watch the fireworks. And we'll put a link to that in the description down below. Super fun. I can't wait till that comes back because we will do it again for sure. But as of right now, all of the marina type activities are on pause. You can see they were thinking about bringing them back. They put the plexiglass up here. But we're still waiting for them to come back. You can kind of see the only thing that's back right now is guided bass fishing. Fireworks cruises up to eight guests starting at $2.99 per pontoon, including driver. For 10 guests, $3.50. You can kind of read it through there. The Sea Racers, those are the mouse boats, or you can also rent a pontoon boat. And this is it, the Sea Ray Grand One Yacht Excursion, starting at $3.99 for day excursions or $7.99 for an evening excursion. Man, it's not here right now, but very nice. So here we are over at Gasparilla Island Grill. I'll look at the menu here really quick. We got the chicken and brie. That's what we got. Also something that we're hoping to try while we're here is Disney Family Night Dinner. So you order it via mobile ordering and you get all this food, some lasagna, some pizza, dessert, a salad, and a little game to play. Jen and I are splitting this chicken and brie sandwich. It's grilled chicken, some ham on there, and some ooey gooey brie. Some french fries? I got Sweet Street Manifesto, I think is what it's called. Uh, this is like a, a gluten-free chocolate brownie. And the whole reason I got this is because it looked really good on the app. It doesn't look as good in person, but it looked really nice on the app. We'll see how it is. And then Jen got Strawberry Shortcake. Same idea, looked fantastic on the app. Looks just okay here. The little like angel food pound cake or whatever in between the layers is very thin. After doing a cross section of this chicken and brie sandwich, we'll look at the brie just dripping. Super slow motion. So just to let you know everything that's on here, there is brie, ham, chicken, spinach, mayonnaise, and a raspberry mustard. I already ate a bunch of mine. Really good. Is it? Mm. Excellent. Yeah, I like it a lot. It got a little bit soggy um, just in transport, I think, but it tastes really nice. You're watching Twilight in the background there? I just, I just turned the TV on. Well, that's a lie. I pushed channel up a few times and then it landed on Twilight. So I decided to make myself a coffee real quick in this Nespresso. Took me a few minutes to figure out how to operate it, but ooh, yeah. It like spins the capsule inside. I think we did it. How do I turn it off now? I also wanted to point out, you can see some blue sky peeking through, so that's a good sign. Hopefully we're not soaked tonight watching the fireworks. Hopefully it'll be a beautiful first firework night. So now what we're off to try to do is we're gonna go, up, gonna check out the gift shop, the main lobby and stuff like that. And then in about 30 minutes, we're gonna try to get on the walk-up list for Narcooses. Fingers crossed. Yeah, because they were all out of reservations. So we're gonna try to get on that. And then around seven, I'm gonna head into the park. And then I'm gonna go back to the room, keep editing and watch the fireworks later. Yeah. yeah. Only the bottom one, only the bottom one. You did, you did it already. You gonna push it again? 
Good job, buddy. Nice work. You're very good. You're a good elevator operator. All right, so we didn't actually make it to the gift shop. We stopped to talk with some folks. We did. We got to, I think this has been almost kind of like Art of Animation. We've met so many of you here. I think that it's, in. well, I think that this is the way that it is. I think people are coming back to the parks now. I think you're right. Yeah, it's been, it's been really awesome though. So we've met people from literally everywhere. And uh, we even met the Joneses. They're, they're staying in the same building as us. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome. Real quick though, look at this this is like an herb garden look at this some lavender over here some rosemary right there i feel like this this might be no that's lavender but this might be mint maybe i don't know i really sorry there's like a air handler right here that blows air down when you open up the door to keep the bugs out but i really like these lamps oh narcooses this is nice Fun fact, this is my dad's favorite restaurant on property. So, here we go, continuing the family tradition. Also, if you're eating here during the fireworks, it is fireworks view. Oh, and a monorail going by too. Also, it's stadium seating, so like this level is higher than this level down here. So you'll still be able to see the fireworks from the other level. It's all windows too. So like everybody has a good view of the fireworks. So the first thing they handed us was the drink menu. Lots and lots of beers over here. And then they've got some specialty old fashions. Oh, okay. Scotch old fashioned. I like that they have like what kind of, what kind of alcohol it is. So here is the QR code for dinner. That way you all can see what's available here at Narcusis to eat. Here it is in Spanish, French, and Portuguese. So they started us off with some nice dinner rolls here. Good looking dinner roll. With some pink Himalayan salt head butter. Salted <laughs> butter. I think it's the same butter from Brown Derby. I feel like it and is, yeah. Because this is such a momentous occasion, we're on our bucket list staycation. First time eating at Narcusi's, right? Or have you eaten here? I've never eaten here, no. Okay. I was telling them that it's my dad's favorite restaurant on property though. Yeah, everybody always has such good stuff to say about it. So I decided to order a glass of wine with my dinner. Look at you. It's been like two years since I've had alcohol. So yeah. I'm gonna have a glass of wine to celebrate this bucket list moment. Here's what we got for Jackson. We got him the pasta marinara. Got him some fruit to go with it. And some potato barrels. They call, so they, them, call them, they call them potato puffs. Potato puffs. <laughs> Do you like any of these or oh, he's actually, got his own? Yeah, no, this, um, oh yeah, maybe I'll just, sorry, I didn't mean to touch that one. I'll do no, this one. Just, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, they brought you like a tiny, tiny spoon. They have three different sizes of tiny spoons for, <laughs> for little ones. They think of everything here. Wow. I okay. like that they gave him like a little thing of, of ketchup and a little thing of Parmesan cheese. This is great. I was yeah. nervous because I wasn't sure if this would be like a kid-friendly restaurant because it is, I think, signature dining. Yeah. Um, and it's, it totally is. Oh, thank you. Oh, our cheeses. This is our cheese plate. Wow. Okay. Ooh. So we're going to go this way around. This is the Coppola. This is the Thomasville Tommy. Oregon Blue and the Moses Sleeper right here. And that's poached pear, of course, prosciutto, and the honeycomb over here. Okay. Wow. All right, and I'll leave this side where you can read more about it. Oh, thank you. Oh, right. Thank you. You want to have some of this? You can have this. is yours. Good idea. You can feed him while yours is cooking. Yeah. <laughs> they gave us, oh, they gave us like a, a little card describing what each cheese was. Ooh, aged goat's milk with a wrinkly edible rind and bright fresh cheese taste. I like that. And the rain has officially hit. So it's gonna be a wet night tonight watching the fireworks for sure. I feel like Jen has the best view for the fireworks because she's gonna be like just sitting in the room so, watching them if they go off. Here's the thing, we extend our stay for one more night. So we'll have a night to watch the fireworks from the room together um, soon. This is, I got the filet. Oh my goodness gracious. That looks so good. It's on a bed of potatoes with some fun colored broccoli. It's like some purple and green broccoli. It's like a different color green. It's like a 
neon green. Yeah. I love the grill marks on this steak. And here is my swordfish. So I have a grilled swordfish on a basil aioli with box tomatoes and marble potatoes. This looks delicious. Now our server, is her name is Lulu, and she said that this was her favorite dish, so I decided to try it. And Arcusis is known for their seafood, so of course I had to get seafood. But this looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just like trying to keep in contact with everybody about the, the rain. The weather is looking sure pretty crazy out here. I wanted to show you the inside of this filet. It's real good. Real nice and real, real tender and real buttery. I'm so happy that I got this. It's very delicious. So I also wanted Tim to try some of my swordfish oh, because yeah. it's a very non-fishy fish. So right. try a bite. I just give you a little bite because I, I don't know if you're going to like it. It's interesting because it has the consistency of fish. It's flaky like fish. It doesn't taste like fish at all. Kind of good. Why are you making those strange noises, buddy? <laughs> He had a short nap today, so I think he's a little bit like oh. wily. I got the banana bread for dessert. This is a plant-based option, like a, a bready version of carrot cake, pineapple popping boba, praline crocant, salted caramel, and candied pecan coconut milk frozen dessert. I'm very excited. This coconut milk candied pecan dessert frozen thing is so good. I'm just gonna call it ice cream. I know that it's not cream or, you know, I know that it's not actual ice cream, but it is really, really, really good. We got done at Narcusi's. Jen and Jackson went up to the room, and I was walking over to go towards the lobby, and there was a cast member there with a golf cart, and was like, are you headed up to the lobby? And I was like, yeah. He's like, hop in. So I hopped in the golf cart, drove me up here, and there were golf carts going everywhere. So right now, I am walking over, like I'm gonna hop, well, not walking over, okay. So I came up to the lobby, I'm gonna go upstairs, get on the monorail, and head over to Magic Kingdom now start to get ready for Happily Ever After for the fireworks. So I'm excited. Hopefully the rain will stop by the time the fireworks happen. Uh, there is a media event tonight, so we're headed over there to have a little dessert party and then set up all of our gear to watch the fireworks from the hub area. I'm so excited. I'm very excited to see fireworks again. So let's head on over. Let's get on the monorail. I should point out there is a live pianist here in the lobby playing Disney songs. Let's see if we can figure out what song he's playing. There's something about Mary. All right, we made it over. I took the monorail and I actually couldn't show anything because the camera was fogged up the entire time. But here we are, we're headed into Magic Kingdom now. Gonna have a look around. The rain seems like it's letting up, so that's good. You can see people walking around without raincoats, but there are still some raincoats in here. So it's 7 o'clock. Fireworks don't start until 9.15. Seems like people are starting to leave the park. It's probably because it's so rainy right now. Also, kids might be headed home to go to sleep. Ooh, there's just some lightning and thunder, too. Doesn't look too crowded over here. I'm going to go check on the barbershop. Barbershop looks the same as it did yesterday, except for the lights on the outside are turned off, but the lights on the inside are turned on. So... I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully soon. I'll keep checking back on the barbershop. Ah, yes. Day three of Magic Kingdom. Here we are, ready for some fireworks. So I think there might be a little bit of umbrella noise throughout this entire video because it is raining and I do have an umbrella up. But they will set off the fireworks in this rain. As long as it's not a heavy downpour or there's no lightning and thunder around. There was a little bit of lightning earlier, but I feel like it's gonna be fine. I think they're gonna set off the fireworks. So it's about 7.15 right now, and you can see there is a large gathering of people all trying to find their spots, getting ready for the fireworks to return happily ever after. Looks like they turned on the lights on the castle. This is the first time I've seen it with all of the filigree and everything for the 50th. It's beautiful. So we've got a little bit of time before the fireworks start and the hub has definitely filled up with people. I think it's definitely going to run in the rain, so it's going to be a little bit of a wet night for us. Good evening, dreamers of all ages. In just a few minutes, the Magic Kingdom invites you to enjoy our nighttime spectacular, Happily Ever After. 
Presented by Pandora Jewelry. In order for you to fully experience tonight's performance, the lighting around the Magic Kingdom will be reduced. Our journey will begin in just a few minutes. Each of us has a dream, a heart's desire. It calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic. Ready to begin, let the wonder take hold. What's the moment?
out and find your happily ever after. The battles and the story So there you go, fireworks are back at the Magic Kingdom happily ever after. The first night, first official night, they did have a cast preview a few days ago, but also Epcot Forever is back. So there is fireworks at two parks now here at Walt Disney World. So feels good, feels fantastic, very emotional. Like it's, it's nice to have fireworks back and happily ever after is such a good show. I can't wait to watch it again and again and again and again. I've missed it. I have missed Happily Ever After immensely. Man, it's been a while since we've been in the park at night. It looks good. Like, it feels good to see the castle all lit up again. Also, because it rained, Tinkerbell did not fly tonight. It's a little bit disappointing, but we understand that safety is most important, and there are plenty more times to see Happily Ever After again with Tinkerbell flying. Park's starting to clear out. So we are headed back to the Grand Floridian. Kind of what I was waiting for. The good news is I have a walkway, so I don't have to wait for the monorail or a bus or anything like that. I can just walk back to the Grand Floridian. Just kind of sticking around a little bit after the fireworks, kind of frees this area up kind of a lot. Like there is still a pretty long line for the monorail, but for the most part, not too bad. Oh, there's a huge line for the ferry boat. I think that they're probably running buses back to TTC. If this is the situation that you find yourself in, try the buses. This is me, walk way over to the Grand Floridian. That's where we're headed, but I wanted to show you this sign right here. Walkway between the Grand Floridian and the Polynesian Village Resort is closed. So you cannot get to the Polynesian Village Resort yep. walking this way. The electrical water pageant starting right now. Yeah. That's exciting. I bet you Jen has a much better view than I do. I'm right over there. All right, we've made it back to the Grand Floridian. I like how the Grand, they like put that GF on everything. So Walt Disney World has these things called smellitzers that cast a smell around. This one, here's one right here, inside of the vestibule of the building that we're staying in. It's casting out that delicious, delicious, what is it like? a clove and an aloe or something like that. So good. And we're back. Also a strange fact about this building. I got speakers in the wall. There's no music playing. Look at this chandelier. I know I showed it earlier, but let me give you a closer look at it. It's awesome. It's so cool looking. I'm back in the room. Welcome uh, back. Welcome back to the <laughs> channel. Um, it was great. I really enjoyed Happily Ever After. I'm so sweaty. I am not sweaty because I watched, sorry, I didn't mean for it to sound like, like, 
I'm going to flex really quick, but I didn't sweat at all. Um, I watched it from the balcony, which was amazing. My favorite part was that everybody around us was cheering. Oh, yeah? Like, I could hear the people above us were watching it, the people next to us. Um, they were watching it, and it was like a lot of kids, so the kids were very excited. It was cool. It was really, like, a neat experience to... I think some of the people had never seen it. So it was just neat to hear people's reaction, like, in real time. I'll have you know that people were cheering in the park. Well, I know I could hear them. Oh, like, yeah. Like maybe, maybe I didn't hear them, but I I heard people cheering. Maybe they were down at the boat dock. Maybe yeah. But I heard far away cheers, and I was like, "This is awesome." Something that I noticed from like walking around here at night, mm -hmm. there's a lot of places at the Grand Floridian to be able to see the fireworks. Yeah. So like down at the marina, down on the other side of that building over there, down here at the boat dock. I guess Narcusi's has like a back. A veranda. A veranda yeah. that you can watch it from. I saw that when we were eating. Um, there was a, a thing that was like, if you want to go out on the veranda, ask like ask one of the servers to help you. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's like that's cool. I didn't even know they had that. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty neat. I will also say that when I was watching it out on the balcony, there were so many bugs. Oh yeah. Like, a million trillion bugs. So yeah. just know that that there are bugs. But those weren't they weren't biting bugs. Like you didn't get bit or anything. It was a lot of spiders. Oh. I didn't get bit by any spiders. This breaking spiders love fireworks. <laughs> they did. Did you watch my story? No. Oh. Is that what you talked about? Yeah, I showed the spider that watched the fireworks with me. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's so nice. He was like jumping all around. Oh. I loved it. Yeah. So, I don't know. It was a great day. Really liked this room. Really liked dinner. Really liked the fireworks. We liked this room so much that we actually extended our stay. I don't know if we told you that yet. Did we tell I don't them? know. No, yeah. I don't think so. So that's it's been such a long day. I have no idea what <laughs> happened earlier. That just goes to show you how amazing this room is. We extended our stay. Um, and yeah, the fireworks, they're back. They're, they're back, back, baby. baby. Like real, it's coming back. The world is coming back. Right? I'm excited. It was a really, really exciting time. Yeah. I got goosebumps. Did you get goosebumps? I, cr I cried. Oh. I know. I did. I was like, am I, am I crying? I'm crying. It was very emotional. I'm happy that the fireworks are back. Yeah. So, all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Hi, guys. I'm Orlando Mike of Adventures of Mike and Steph. Thank you so much for watching. And now it's time to pay the price.